a teacher several years ago, I want to say it's like seven years ago, so it's been a while, but it still makes its rounds on the internet. She had a brilliant idea on the first day of school. She went to the grocery store and she bought two apples. Now, before students uh, entered the classroom, she took one apple and she banged it on her desk so it was banged up pretty bad. She said, boys and girls, uh, welcome. It's our first day of school. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to all gather around my desk and I want you to be really mean to this apple. I want you to say things that would really hurt this apple's feeling. So the kids gather around. Oh, your skin is ugly. No one wants to eat you. You probably got worms. Good job, good job. And they say more mean things. The teacher said, okay, now we're going to switch. I've got another apple. This apple, I only want you to say kind words. Don't use put downs. I want to hear only put ups, only positive comments. Oh, your skin is so smooth. You're so red and delicious. I would love to eat you. Hey, Johnny, hold off, hold off, right? You always got to tell it. There's always one kid, right? She said, good job. Now, boys and girls, let's see how our apples are doing. She cut open the first apple, and on the inside, it looked good. In fact, the kids wondered if they could share it for a snack. She said, this is the apple that we were nice to. Good job. But well, boys and girls, remember our other apple? She pulled this one out, and as you guessed, when she cut it open, it was all bruised on the inside. Now, this freaked some of the kids out, especially elementary kiddos, right? Oh, my gosh. Did we really do that to that apple? Yes, you did. Remember the mean words you said? It hurt him on the inside. Really? Really? And the teacher was able to really do an amazing lesson with these two apples. She said, boys and girls, our friends in here are like apples. See, sometimes mean words can hurt in places that we can't see. So I don't want anyone to feel like this bruised apple. So I want you to picture everybody else in this room like an apple. And next time you see them, only use kind words. Don't use mean words like this apple. Only use kind words. Can you do that? Yeah. And the kids uh, loved this lesson. It's really powerful. It's one that many teachers that hear me speak, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I'll go and I'll do a, a training like this. And it's like the next week, I'll get at least one or two emails of uh, a picture with two apples sitting on a desk. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I know the lesson you did. This is a powerful thing to do. The teacher all year could refer back to this lesson and be like, hey, uh, hey, Johnny, do you remember the apples? How do you think they're feeling right now with what you said? And this is such a powerful lesson. Anybody can do this. All you need is two apples and, you know, a grocery bag. You can do this. You can go to the store. But I would have used one more thing. See, I wouldn't have just brought apples. This is teaching a lesson that words hurt, which is true. There's two truths. Words can hurt. I'm not saying words can't hurt. That would be lying to kids. Words can hurt. But the other half of the truth is words only have the power that you give them. See, I wouldn't do the lesson with just, uh, just an apple. No, instead, I would use something else. I would use a coconut. A coconut. Yeah. I would freak the kids out. I would bring a coconut, and I'd say, okay, guys, uh, it's, we're kind of running out of time. We've got recess coming up, though. This is Billy the coconut. Here's what I want you to do. Take him outside. I want you to be meaner to him than you were to the apples. Really? Really. Take Billy the coconut outside. I'll tell you a secret. He hates heights. So maybe just like take him to the top of the slide and like push him down. He'll be so scared. Really? Really? And then you know what? He's kind of round like a, a, a soccer ball. I don't want you to like really, really hurt him, but you know, take him in the soccer field, kick him around a little bit, but don't let him roll down the sewer drain because after recess, we're going to break him open. The kids come back from recess. They're all so tired. They're like, we was real mean. <laughs> You're like, you were real mean. We was real mean. How do you think he's going to look? Oh, he's going to be ugly. And then as carefully as you can, teachers, carefully if you do this, you break open that coconut. And the kids are like, huh? Why, why does he look so good? Why does he look so nice? Hey, well, boys and girls, Billy's a coconut. What's the difference between an apple and a coconut? You get that one kid that has to use the bathroom? Oh, 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 I know. One has thin skin and the other has thick skin. Good job, Johnny. Way to participate. Boys and girls, 
we don't know if our friends in here are apples or coconuts. So just to be safe, we're going to treat everybody like they're an apple this year. Because sometimes words can hurt in places we can't see. But boys and girls, if someone is mean to you, they try to bother you, they try to make you the butt of their joke, they try to hurt you, I don't want you to be like an apple. I want you to remember Billy the coconut. He was really resilient. He was strong. He didn't get upset. And because of that, his enemies couldn't hurt him. You can do this. I know you can. And if you can do that, then all of a sudden the things in life that feel heavy, they will seem light. Ooh, you like my little magic trick there? <laughs> it's fancy. I worked on that. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you the secret to the floating coconut. Uh, there's a hole in the back. Uh, meet Billy. <laughs> You know how long it took me to carve that out? <laughs> Thank you for the applause. Thank you for the applause. I almost lost a finger. This is Billy the Coconut. Great lesson. And what I love about the coconut version is we're teaching our kids a message of resilience. 